Hello everybody. I hope everybody's had a great day. I've had a good one myself. I just wanted to I wanted to testify. I wanted to talk about my uh, sobriety, my battle, a battle for uh, sobriety. I've been, uh, you could say I've lost, lost my sobriety for, I don't know, 23, 25 years straight. Just addiction, you know what I mean? Friggin' addiction. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't out of control. Not like some people get, but I mean, I was a hardcore marijuana smoker. I mean, I'm sure that might sound like a joke to you or something, but, and I didn't see any harm in it because it made me, made me think and whatnot, but also, you know, cigarettes I was addicted to for 20 some years, but, but I, I've been getting high for seriously like 23 to 25 years almost straight I mean you know besides taking you know not not doing it at work as soon as I would get home I would get high and you know stay high all night then you know do my research for all my theories you know all the UFO stuff and the true crime stuff I'm into you know you know all the research I've been doing on that and you know, and I smoke another joint, and you know, a couple hours later, I smoke another one, and and I've been doing that, and and I wouldn't do it like a normal person. I'd be like, I'd be like a junkie about it. You know what I mean? I'd be like, smoking weed became a necessity, a, a need of mine. It was just, you know, I've I've lost everything. I mean. All I've got left is my car here. You know, I'm currently homeless. I'm trying to trying to get things back on track in my life, you know. But I am sober. I am I'm not even certain, but I'm about 15, 16 days sober. I've honestly stopped counting cuz you know, I feel like that would somehow weaken me or you know, like I'm counting like I'm so weak, but that's why I don't count. But I'm telling you, for somebody who was addicted for 25 years straight, I'm telling you, you do not need any addictions. Like, I understand everybody has a perception, like, you know, like if you're a smoker, and if you quit smoking, you think that somehow you're living without it, like, you know, like you're depriving yourself of something yes that is absolutely not true the same thing is with weed the same thing is with alcohol you know I quit alcohol I haven't had I, I quit alcohol about 10 years ago you know I only drank once on a very special occasion because you know I hadn't seen my friend in 10 years so you know we had a one night we had one we shared one bottle and a few drinks and you know I mean, that was, that was, it was a mistake, but I mean, it was, you know, I, I made the excuse that it was a special occasion, you know, but, you know, no, I, I didn't, didn't ever go back to it after that, but, like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's just gotten to the point where it's, I've quit everything, like I said, I've quit weed, I've quit drinking, and I've quit cigarettes, I don't, I don't do anything. I am trying to live a sin-free life, like 100%. Like I'm not even trying to find myself a girlfriend or anything. I, I have no interest in finding a woman. I've, you know, I am 100% just focused, absolutely focused on keeping my sobriety. You know, like the Bible says, you keep yourself an individual. You, you know, you be, you be a misfit. You do your own thing. You know. You, you go, they say you walk that narrow path, right? And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my own thing in this life. I don't, you know, I just care about, you know, money and, you know, I'd hate to admit it, you know, sex addiction. You know, it's all terrible. It's all terrible. It's all sin. Every, every little bit of it. And I've, 
I'm done with it all, you know. As I realize, you know, through all my research and everything, but what I realize is, like, I am now, I'm like 45 years old, something like that. I'm not even certain. I don't even want to think about it. I'm, I'm old, right? And I'm telling you, Jesus is real. God is real. Satan is real. I mean, it's a lot easier to prove Satan's real, you know what I mean? Because Satan reveals himself all the time, I mean. You know, look at what happened down in, recently down in, uh, was it Ohio? There where that Brian Kohlberger killed those four students, you know, for no reason. You know, except that he, you know, got, he got ignored online. He was trying to talk to that one girl online. And just kept ignoring him, and he's, you know, trying and trying, and, but you know, you know what I mean. That's, I mean, if that doesn't prove to you that evil's real, I mean, oof, believe me, it's, I've spent the last two years homeless, and people are dangerous. I'm telling you, it is such a dangerous life out there, being homeless. You don't, you don't want anything to do with anybody, especially at night. I mean. I'm telling you, like 90, 99% of all homeless people carry knives, you know, and they're all mentally ill. There is there is a huge, huge problem happening. There's no easy solution, you know. But I'm telling you, you know, I've started praying and I've gotten back to that. I'm trying to get myself back to going to church. I'm trying. I meant to go last Sunday. I I didn't. I, was, I made the excuse that I got to work. You know, I'm, I got to I got to make money, get myself out of the situation. But I mean, you know what? That was a that was an excuse. So I am really hoping I am strong enough to go to church this Sunday, like I'm supposed to, like a true Christian, right? But I'm, I'm telling you, addiction, any and all addiction. It's the devil's trick. It's the devil's tool. It's the devil's weapon. That's how he gets us. He changes how, he changes the way you think. It changes the way you, you know, you uh, approach life. It changes everything. It's, it's like a, an illusion. I absolutely agree with that. It is an illusion. You do not need anything. All you need is to be on Jesus' path. Be sin free. Don't chase money. Don't care about your truck you're driving. Don't care. Don't care about your fancy clothes or impressing people or you know, trying to find beautiful woman and making her your wife. That's you know. It's all lies. It's all you know. None of it's real. It's all an illusion. It's all we're here to be tested. Our faith is to be tested. I'm telling you, like, I am so certain of this. I I am so certain that I am scared about all the sins I've done in the past. And I've, I've asked our Heavenly Father for forgiveness. I've, you know, I've, you know, you have to repent your sins. That's what, that's the most important part. You got to ask Jesus for forgiveness. And, you know, he's helped me beat my addictions. You know, you know, the fact that you help someone after 23 to 25 years straight addiction. And here I am 15 days sober, you know, and I did it on my own. I didn't go to detox or anything. I did it on my own. And, you know, and how I am, but the stuff that like goes on in my brain in the day, it is, you know, it's all gone away because when I was smoking weed and that, be like my brain is like very very like I have some very evil and terrible nightmarish thoughts you know what I mean and I remember I was be like Jesus I don't want I don't want to feel this way I don't want to think these things but it's like my brain keeps bringing it up and bringing it up you know what I mean and you know what since I've sobered up those those things stopped. They stopped. I don't. 
There's no more evils attacking my brain. There's no more, you know. I don't need to think about the wrongs that have been done to me. I don't think I've, I don't have to think about you know my marriage falling apart. I don't, you know. It's just you got to walk that narrow path. It's like they say they got to walk that narrow path. You gotta you gotta pray to Jesus. You gotta go to church. And it's such a narrow path. People don't understand. It is such a narrow path. You have to come correct. You know what I mean? Jesus specifically says everything in the Bible, he wants you to follow. Everything. You know what I mean? And I know that's against a lot of things that are happening these days with the well, I don't even know if I want to talk about it with the, you know, all this uh, accepting of the homosexuality and that. And, you know, but the point, really, I mean, is what it says in the Bible, it is a guide. It is a narrow path. And there might only be, maybe only 25% of us that are going to make it to heaven. I don't know. I don't know what. But the point is, most of us will fail. Most of us will not get the message. And you do not want to die until, until you become sin-free and you have to repent your sins. And don't, don't think you could do it on the last day and you're going to get scot-free. It doesn't work that way. You have to get on a sin-free life an addiction-free life, you know, all addictions, you know, forget about money, forget about your ideals of power and, uh, you know, your ego. Your ego is going to kill you. Your ego is going to let you burn in hell. You know what I mean? This, you know, I'm, like I made a lot of money over the years. I've, I've bought sports cars, big expensive truck. I had a trailer, you know, you know, it's... It was all my ego. It was just, you know what? I lost it all. That's what it took. I lost everything. You see me now. I'm here in my car. I'm just sleeping in my car. You know what I mean? That's all I got. This is, you know, if my car breaks down, man, I don't know, man. I'm be sleeping in the woods or something. You know, try, I'm trying to correct my situation and you know, there's we such such dangerous times. People are dangerous out there. I mean, you know, everybody who's a sinner is basically an agent of Satan. And you look around us, and everybody's you know engaging in sin. You know, and it's, that's not the true Christian way. You got to repent your sins. You got to pray. You got to you got to be sin free, because you know Jesus. You know, like they say, they're gonna they're gonna review your whole life, and it's gonna play back like a movie, and you know, and Jesus is gonna judge you if you're worthy or not. And we want we want more people on our side. We need more people to become true Christians, and you know, this isn't some story. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, someone who used to be an addict, someone whose whose brain is just you know like. Like I probably got like PTSD or something, you know what I mean? Like I got extreme anger issues, you know. But I've always, you know, I've always remained in control. I've, you know, never really hurt anybody. I've I've come close, but you know, I don't believe in hurting people, you know, that's not the Christian way, you know. You know, like they say, turn the cheek, right? But I'm 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 saying, man, for real, one hundred percent. I understand now, you know, 100%. It's true. It's real. The testimony of Jesus, it is absolutely true. 100% it's real. I know it. There's, there's not a doubt. There's not a doubt in my mind. And I will do whatever it takes to keep me on this path, to keep me on a sin-free path. You know what I mean? I hope I never sin again. I got, I got, I got to correct this path. You know what I mean. 
you know I like I like to make some difference in people's lives but you know I'm out here working seven days a week I'm trying to make some money and you know I'm telling you I'm telling you read the Bible you know if you don't want to read the Bible there's lots of lots of Jesus videos on uh, YouTube to watch listen to people's testimonies you know type in NDE near-death experience listen to the testimonials of those those will scare the living heck out of you you know what I mean they're talking about they're talking about their experiences in hell and you know what I mean and every it seems like hell is every person has their own personalized hell you know what I mean it's like the sin you were sin you were into like you know like I used to be addicted to marijuana like so it'd be like my sin would be smoking marijuana. So in hell, I'd be, you know, smoking marijuana just nonstop, nonstop. Until you're sick, until you're ready to puke, and you can never stop. You know what I mean? I mean, they use your sin against you to show you. I'm telling you. It, it works that way. <coughs> and it's just... We need more people. You know what I mean? Like... Sure seems like the uh, the end times are here. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, there was that lightning strike on the... Uh, that Jesus statue in Brazil there, that massive one. And, you know what I mean? And quite recently, it was just like big lightning struck. And like, you know what I mean? I mean, you can't ignore these things. You think things are a coincidence? You know what I mean? I mean... There is so much more I could talk about, like when they were filming The Passion of the Christ, right? The Mel Gibson movie? The actor Jim Cavazelli? Cavazelli? Something like that. I can't say his last name correctly. But the actor who was playing Jesus? Like he was up there on a mountain. It was raining, it was stormy, and they were doing the crucifixion scene where he was on there, or, you know, portraying Jesus. He got struck by lightning, okay? He got struck by lightning. And he survived. Think about that. Think about... How do you get struck by lightning? And how do you survive that? You don't. You, you live... You know what I mean? If you're struck by lightning, I'd say 99.5% of the chance you, you're dead, right? Instantly, right? And this is an absolutely fact. Jim Cavelli, the actor portraying Jesus on the cross, got hit by lightning and he was not even really hurt. Like he survived it. You know what I mean? That and that is an absolute truth. That is you know what I mean, a coincidence you cannot ignore. You know what I mean? Like you know, it's getting to the point of getting scary, you know what I mean? Feels like everybody's out there, you know, agents of Satan. If you're, you know, you know what I mean? Everybody's controlled by their sin and their power and their ego and their self-righteousness, you know what I mean? You know, this whole power belief system is just, none of it's real. It's all an illusion. It's all the devil's tricks, you know what I mean? You don't need any of that. All you need is Jesus in your life. And he'll keep you sin free. He'll keep you happy. I'm a man who has nothing, right? I work seven days a week. You know what? I couldn't be happier. I got some money for some, you know, some coffee in the morning. I go have my uh, breakfast burritos, you know, and I'm off to work again, you know. And, and again, I'm going to be sin free tomorrow. The next day, I'm going to be sin free again. And again and again, until the day I die, I'm hoping. I am not coming off this path. I will. I am, I am so serious about this, you know what I mean? And I really want everybody out there to understand this is, you know, this is my testimony, man. Jesus is real, just like Satan is real. You know what I mean? So, I mean... We, we got to get on that narrow path. 
you know start watching these YouTube videos learn 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 there's a there's an app you could download it's called the chosen and it's just it's, it's like a TV show but it's like Jesus right and all his teachings you know what I mean it's it's amazing man you got you got to watch it man you got it. it's 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 great you know what I mean there's so much good stuff on YouTube you know what I mean it's just like wow like this cannot be denied you cannot deny this anymore I mean the time for fun and games no that's foolish that's just foolishness you know what I mean you know buying expensive things for your clothes no I've, I've barely got any clothes at all nobody you know nobody looks at me and is impressed but you know what people do respect me they see me showing up you know working 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 you know what i mean even though they know i'm homeless and whatnot they see me working 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 you know it's surprising it's very surprising you know, i'm out here doing my best i hope everybody's doing their best too I'm telling you, you need to go addiction free. You need to. You need to fully accept Jesus into your heart. You need to know Jesus. You don't want Jesus to say, I hardly know you. You know what I mean? Alright, that's, that's what I had to say. Please. You know, this is real. You know, I'm not the bible thumping type you know what i mean i never was but always always in my heart i've practiced you know i've always kept jesus in there i've always you know i've always how you say uh followed the guidelines if you will you know certainly not perfectly but you know i hope i'm made of I hope I'm being judged worthy enough. Because we're all going to be judged. You know. I'm old. I got gray hairs. You know what I mean? You don't want to be running out of time. I could I could die in a car accident tomorrow. I could I could have a heart attack right now. I don't know what's happening. You, life is not guaranteed. You know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing. You know what I mean? We're all here. This is a test. We're here to be tested. You know what I mean? The real prize is the next life up in heaven and we need more people to we need our side to win you know what I'm saying all right hope I hope everybody uh, you know hears me I hope people understand I'm not here making lies up this isn't you know this isn't a story I'm telling I'm telling you man you know what I mean I'm an intelligent person and I think I finally understand. <laughs> it's damn near taking me a lifetime to understand, but man, I understand now. You know, just get out there, get get praying, get to going to church, stay sin free. All right, that's what I had to say. I hope, I hope you're gonna. I hope I open some eyes. God bless.